Hey, what's up? Mark here from the Backpacking Gear Net. And today I'm talking about, I apologize if I mess this up, the, the Saniyama solar panel. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. Mark, why would we ever carry something like that backpacking? You wouldn't. This isn't for backpacking. This is great for a lot of things, but specifically, I absolutely love this for car camping. Now, I do a lot of car camping and backpacking, and I know that a lot of backpackers love to do both. So it's nice to have something that you can get all your stuff charged while you're out car camping and not have to worry about a generator or even necessarily bring in big battery packs or anything like that. Um, so let's get into what this panel is. Now, this panel is actually amazing. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do, and let me show you why. Now, when you open it up, everything's extremely well built, and this is the reason why. When I saw the wiring that they were using, I was thinking, oh, this isn't gonna be that great, but the truth is, is it actually really is a great piece of equipment. Now, it comes with these alligator clips so that you can essentially charge your car battery with it. It also comes with a cigarette lighter um, attachment, and what that's for is so you can trickle charge your battery by putting this in the window of your car when you're at the airport. That way, when you get back from your long vacation, your battery's not dead. Um, that only works if your um, cigarette lighter is active while the car is off. But it also has a small controller on it. The controller isn't like MPPT or anything like that. What the controller is, is it allows you to have two USB-A ports and a USB-C. All three of those are quick charge. And then it's got a DC out. And so essentially you could take your cable here, plug it into the DC out. And then just to simply test it, I connected these to a plug that I could hook into my uh, goal zero. I wanted to see how much power I could get out of this. And I was consistently getting 35 and 40 watts. When it sat in the sun, and here in sunny California on a bright sunny day and it's summertime, um, I can actually pull 40 watts out of this. I, I have to commend them because a, pan, a panel that is rated for 40 watts usually pulls like 30 watts, 28 or so watts out of it because it's always producing less than it should in an ideal sun. They actually rated this panel so that you actually really can get the 40 watts that they're promising you out of it. So I absolutely love that about it. Now, it comes with these little kickstand things here, and that makes it so you can set this up nice and stable and angle it to whatever angle you want. You can set it back further depending on the time of year so that you can really get good advantage of the sun. Um, the panel itself, um, the cells on it are, are actually really nice. It's got a 22% conversion rate. That is pretty normal for most solar panels. I know some are like 23. There's, there's some that you get into that get up a little bit higher, but solar really is very inefficient, at least for right now. Um, they're getting it better and better all the time though because it wasn't that much longer ago that a 40 watt system like this would be twice its size. Um, I'm just looking at my notes so that I can be accurate. This is an 18 volt system. Now, now I don't really care about that because I care about the open circuit voltage because typically if I'm going to plug this into like one of my little goal zeros or a blue eddy or something like that, I'm gonna actually take and want it to use more voltage because of the MPP charge controller. And here it says that it gets 21.6 volts for the open circuit. I tested it with a voltmeter and I was getting a little bit over that. So 
they're under promising over delivering and it also said that it was getting 2.2 amps at the maximum output and i was getting a little bit more than that again so so clearly they under promised and over delivered honestly i wish all panels were like that because I'm tired of getting a 200 watt panel and only getting 125 watts out of it in the summer on a clear day. Now the cells are laminated with an ETFE coating and what that's going to do is it's going to help protect the cells from the elements outside. This thing is completely waterproof. There's kind of a texture on the surface here and that texture actually is really nice because it allows it to absorb sun from more than just one single angle. Now you still have to point this kind of at the sun and everything, but the nice thing is if the sun hits it like this, you're gonna get a lot more energy than you would without this texturing on here. So this has got aluminum casing around the outside and it's extremely solid, which I really like. There is no glass on this. That does two things. It makes it lighter. And then the other thing is I don't have to worry about breaking the glass as much because I have broken the glass on glass panels before. So their attention to detail is really good. Now, they made it so that you could use their little box here and charge, you know, up to three or four devices depending on how you're doing it. And I think that works for a lot of people camping because you could charge a battery pack all day while you're doing stuff or a couple battery packs all day while you're doing stuff. And then everybody's got power all night long. So that is, that is a nice thing, but, but they actually make it so you can get into the, the cabling here and you can rewire this however you want. You can wire it in series, you can wire it in parallel in order to get the voltage that you want for whatever you have. And you can essentially put a new cable on here that is dedicated with like some MC4 or something like that so that you can attach it to a solar generator. Um, I really like that about it. This is gonna work fine for me for what I want because I just want to charge some batteries and things. I can use I can just use these alligator clips to connect it to the wires that go to the adapter that plugs into my solar generator. So um, either way, this really works well for me. It's got this nice little bag here so that you can keep all your stuff in it so you don't lose it. And it folds up like a suitcase and locks. And it's got a little handle on the top. Now the three main things that I like about this panel that I think will make it useful to you if you just need a 40, 40 watt panel is I like the durability of this. I like how small it gets so that I can stick it in my car for car camping and it doesn't take up very much space because there's a lot of people out there that have a car and not a truck or something like that. And car camping really is car camping where they've got to use every little nook and cranny they can in order to get their stuff out there, especially if they have a family. The other thing I like is they under promise for the wattage and over deliver a 40 watt panel that gets a, that gets 40 watts in direct perfect sun. That is a dream come true. This actually is a 40 watt panel that gets 40 watts. Um, I know I keep saying that, but you know, you don't see that very often. You, you don't see people actually promising the wattage that you'll actually get. It's essentially in a laboratory setting, you could potentially get that wattage, but you never really will. In this case, you can actually get it, which I love. Third thing I like about this is I can modify this however I want to fit my needs. Now it's wired in parallel right now. So if I wired it in series, I would actually double my voltage and you go, why does that matter? Well, some batteries require a higher voltage in order to charge. The other thing is with an MPPT charge controller, you can actually convert volts into amps. 
and that is great on a overcast day. So like on my RV I have, I put 48 volt panels on my roof so that I was converting a lot of voltage into amps. And so on a dark overcast day with my RV, I can get double the amount of amps out of it that I could if it was completely just a 12 volt system. Now, that is a beautiful thing. I love the fact that you can do that. So that's how you deal with cloudy days. Now, you're not going to get 40 watts out of this on a cloudy day, but you are going to get a lot more out of it if it's in series versus parallel. So you still can utilize that voltage only if you're going into an MPPT charge controller, but that's about it. All right, so down below I've got some affiliate links if you want to know how to get to this panel. And if you have any questions or you know something that I don't know, please put it in the comments below. We all get smarter together. And other than that, hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.